Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you joining us here today. Well, we've got another video for you real quick, and um, this is actually a follow-up video. Um, not too long ago, I did a video on the Glock 44 22 long rifle, and you know we reviewed the gun, and I discussed during that video that, to me, it was not an ideal concealed carry gun. And a lot of that focused around the fact that it's the same size as a Glock 19. And, you know, if you're going to carry something the size of a Glock 19, you may as well just carry a Glock 19 with more rounds and, you know, a more powerful cartridge. So, of course, the questions came about um, what I did consider a good 22 long rifle defensive handgun. And we're going to talk about it today, which is this, the Ruger LCR and 22 long rifle. And I'm going to tell you why this is the best choice for self-defense and 22 long rifle in just a minute. And once again, welcome back to the channel. We appreciate you joining us today. So we'll take a moment to thank our viewers and our subscribers and uh, for all those getting involved in the comment section, exchanging information. It's really helping make the whole thing work. And we appreciate you. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, if you just want to locate that subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner of your computer screen there and give that a smash. If you're on a mobile device, you can just roll down below the video there and you'll see a subscribe button and you can hit the bell icon. It lets you know we do something new. It helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. So today, as promised, when I was discussing the uh, Glock 44 and 22 long rifle, I mentioned it was less than ideal to me as far as a carry gun good training tool but being the exact same size as the glock 19 with uh not near as many rounds and a less powerful round just to make a whole lot of sense to carry that when you could just carry the glock 19. but if you want to carry 22 long rifle i have an answer for you the ruger lcr and 22 long rifle now keep in mind here everything we're talking about um, is based on the fact that this is someone this is ideal for someone who voluntarily wants to carry 22 long rifle and there are going to be some arguments whether 22 long rifle is even a viable defensive round but i think every round has a place in the concealed carry world and i'll explain that here as we go on but we always like to start off by giving you a little size comparison here so i'm going to take the lcr and i'm going to compare it to what is my very uh, favorite concealed carry revolver, and that's my Kimber K6S here in 357 Magnum. Um, obviously, um, you know, this is a six shot um, 357. Um, it is a, a heavy revolver, but it's very well made. It's got a great trigger. Um, it's kind of my go to, um, you know, larger caliber revolver. And as you can see, comparing it to the Kimber. The Ruger has got a little bit of a bigger overall footprint, mainly because you can see right here, um, trigger guard has a lot to do with it. And I'm actually okay with that. Um, I think the Kimber has a good trigger guard. It's, you know, long enough to where I can get my big finger inside of it without any problems. But I'm a big fan of large trigger guards, and the LCR definitely has it. Uh, another little comparison we'll make here. I've got your uh, the Smith & Wesson M&P uh, bodyguard here in 38 Special. This is the Crimson Trace model. But as you can see, you know, very similar in size. The LCR is still going to be slightly bigger. Mainly, you know, your grip and your trigger guard are going to be your... Uh, larger parts of that but you know as far as revolvers go you know they're very similar in width very similar in grip length but i always like to give you a little of that just because people are usually going to be familiar with uh, some of these other brands it helps you get an idea of what we're talking about as far as size and this is no exception so talking about the features on this uh, revolver so there's some things I really like about this gun, and, um, you know, aside from the uh, first and foremost being light, um, it's extremely light. You know, you take a gun like this, um, you know, it, it weighs 14.9 ounces. That's pretty light. 
by any standpoint because I've got some pretty heavy guns that I carry on a consistent basis. Um, but just looking at it here, the frame is made from um, that 7000 series aluminum. If you look at the the grip here, you've got this nice big rubber, uh, you know, rubber grip here. Uh, it's the Hogue, what they call the Tamer mono grip. But you can change this grip out if you want to put other styles of grips on here. You can do that. Um, your sights, very basic. Um, you see, you've got the white on the front there, and you can see. Let me get it lined up. There you go. There's your rear notch. Um, that front sight, of course, is just a pinned ramp sight um, so in theory that can be replaced as well that's the one thing I would like to see them do a little bit differently on the LCRs is uh, better sights it's not really critical mainly because of of how this gun is going to be used defensively and um, I'll cover more of that when we talk about the range but if you think about it you know this is a 22 and no matter what kind of situation you're talking about when you're talking about a revolver that has a 1.87 um, inch length in the barrel, you're not going to get a tremendous amount of accuracy over any kind of distance. Obviously, this is meant to be used close up. So, you know, I'm not all that concerned about the sights for that very reason, because it's not like you're going to be doing any real precision shooting with this. But anyway, the trigger on this it's really great let me just show you here verify that we're clear you can see that we are but the trigger is really smooth on this you watch the action there Ruger has this friction reducing cam um, that gives it a really smooth uh, a non stacking trigger pull it's really nice um, they've gone through here. I had it open for you a second here, but I'll show you again. This is an eight shot 22 and, um, which is pretty good. You can see the cylinder. They have gone in and, you know, made these cuts. This is a stainless steel cylinder with a PVD finish. And, um, they've really fluted it a lot to get the weight down on it. And like I say, the gun is extremely light. Um, it's one of the lighter, um, handguns that I've handled period but and of course the other good thing about it is because it's an eight shot revolver um, you can carry this thing just about anywhere California Massachusetts places that have you know uh, restrictions and how many rounds you can have you can carry this so it's friendly for you know virtually anywhere um, now looking at it once again the big trigger guard here um, I like that because um, you get varying people. You know, I've got medium to large size hands, so this larger trigger guard. Um, I like being able to index that trigger guard, but then drop my finger right in there very quickly because, let's just face it, um, if you're in an actual situation, your fine motor skills are going to go out the window. So you definitely um, want to have something that uh, is going to be the easiest to use in all possible circumstances. But very nice, of course, in your cylinder release, as I showed you right there. Um, you know, and like I say, it's a revolver. It is a, of course, hammerless revolver. And I favor that uh, more than a um, revolver that has an external hammer for concealed carry, just because that is one less thing to snag either on clothing or, you know, when you're getting it out. Um, to me, it's fewer question marks for safety. But that's your basic feature set on the Ruger LCR. So talking about the range and then performance of the gun. So once again, I mentioned in the beginning, you know, we're talking about a revolver that's got a less than two inch barrel on it. So, and I have other LCRs and have noted the um, performance, you know, the accuracy of the gun over different distances. And this gun's no different than any other gun that I will shoot. Um, defensively, I will practice somewhere in the 21-foot range. That's just how I do it. Um, I feel like, you know, I'll shoot at longer distances just to see what a gun will do and to practice my other, you know, um, skills. But when it comes to a carry gun and practicing for carry, um, I'm definitely going to keep it with a, um, a shorter distance, like 21 feet. 
And over 21 feet, um, you can get groups, you know, two to three inches, not really trying. Um, if you expect anything better than that, you're probably going to be disappointed because once again, it's a two inch barrel and we are shooting 22 long rifle and out of a two inch barrel, it doesn't take long for that round to begin to tumble. And that's just the kind of results that you're going to get. Um, but it's a revolver and as a revolver, well, there's one thing that you get, um, to me that is one of the reasons why I like revolvers is the one thing you don't have to worry about is, you know, by and large is the gun malfunctioning. You know, when you go to the range and you start shooting your gun, once again, we are clear here and you start pulling the trigger. Well, if you land on a dead round, that's fine. Just pull the trigger and just keep on going till you get a good one. And the fact that this is 22 long rifle, um, you know, rimfire ammunition is made a lot better today than it was at one time. So it's good ammo that you can use. At the same time, the largest amount of failures that I've ever seen on ammunition was from 22 ammunition. You know, I've used 22 long rifle in a lot of different situations, but I've had light primer strikes. I've had just you know, bad ammo because I mean, even when you buy a good quality brand in a bulk pack, you know, from time to time, you're going to have a dead round in there. But if you're shooting a revolver and you land on that dead round, well, that's not a big deal. You can just pull the trigger and keep right on going. And for that reason, um, from a defensive standpoint, just think about that. You know, you want to have as few question marks for safety as possible. So if you're carrying something like this, if you want 22, because that's the round that, that you want to carry and you want to do it as safely as possible and be as effective as you can, well, you've got double action revolver here with eight rounds of ammo. There's nothing to snag. You know that when you pull the trigger, it should go bang on every cylinder. So it's a really good option. Um, I didn't have any failures in the time that I've shot this pistol. I've used a lot of different ammo. Um, and matter of fact, you know, I was mentioning when I was talking about the 44 that um, both it and my SIG had trouble um, cycling the federal ammo. But of course, you don't have to worry about cycling anything in a revolver, so I can run the federal target ammo all day long. Of course, did a great job using the CCI, no problem there. And of course, the, uh, the Remington Golden Bullet does a good job as well. Uh, from a defensive standpoint, in ammunition I've actually been carrying um, CCI makes what they call the segmented subsonic 22 long rifle and basically this is something that will um, break apart into uh, three equal pieces whenever you shoot it and it transfers the energy around better so if you're going to carry 22 defensively, that's not a bad round to consider, but there's many others, you know, you can look around, see what makes you happy there, but you've got a lot of choices, but extremely reliable. Um, as far as, you know, under two inch revolver barrels go, it's, you know, pretty accurate. And of course it's very reliable, you know, so it meets all the uh, primary criteria for a concealed carry gun. So what's it like to carry the Ruger LCR 22 as a uh, as a concealed carry gun? Well, I've carried a couple of other different LCRs as carry guns before. Um, I've carried the 9mm, which aside from the moon clips is a pretty nice gun. I just don't like messing with those. And the um, 357. And they're very comfortable. And really, there's no difference when you're carrying this one. It's just so much lighter that um, you tend to forget that you have it. And that's really the best way I can describe it. I've carried the LCRs um, and, and different clothing. Um, I, I've seen people that I know that have them that are really small people, some that are really big guys. Different body types all seem to work well with a small revolver, uh, you know, depending on how you carry it. But... I like I'm a big fan. I've talked about, you know, the, the sticky holsters before something like this. And the main reason I like these so much is, you know, they'll tuck right in and then you can 
put that in your waistband and by the time you have your you know belt tightened up on your jeans or whatever yeah, you know, you've got just a small amount of the grip that sticks out and you can you know move that around you can change the cant um, to accommodate for things like being in the car if you want to push the you know the grip away from the back of your seat and that type of thing you can get out and you can make some adjustments um, it's just a really convenient way to carry if you want a little more um, you know positive feel on your belt there's all kinds of other options uh galco leather i've got several of these that i really like as well you know single clip on the belt and um, it's going to be more of a straight up configuration but once again um, this is very comfortable on the skin so there was no issues there so it really just comes down to how you like to carry um, like i said i'm a pretty big fan of the stickies because i've got more flexibility to carry the gun and kind of turn it and position it the way I want to. <laughs> but extremely comfortable, just like in all the other Ruger LCRs, um, lightweight, um, so no issue at all. So if you're used to carrying any kind of revolver and you're wondering about carrying this one, um, no problems at all. So overall impressions of the Ruger LCR 22. Well, as I said, this all comes down to this being a very specific, um, very specific need, a very specific type of carry. If you know you're the kind of individual that wants to carry 22 long rifle defensively, um, to me, if you're going to carry 22, you need to do it in the most reliable option that you can. And kind of going back to the Glock, what I was talking about, and just to reiterate, here's your Glock 44. Um, and take this magazine out and just kind of show you. you know, I mentioned in the video of the Glock, you know, we kind of talked about how the ammunition stacks up and some of the problems you may or may not have in a 22 semi auto. But let's pretend that the magazines feed flawlessly and there's no problems there. Um, if you do have a failure, obviously, um, like with any gun, if you're shooting and you have a failure, let's take a look there, show you that we are clear. But you know, if you're shooting a gun and you're shooting and you have a failure, well, the um, what you're typically going to do is you are going to, you know, clear that malfunction. You're going to try to eject that round, of course, and get a new round to go into the gun, is generally what you're going to do. Now, in a semi-auto, of course, that's what you have to do if you have a failure. And so that's an action that you have to perform if the round uh, doesn't go off. You have a light primer strike, anything like that. In a revolver, of course, it's very simple. You know, you pull the trigger, and if for some reason the round doesn't go off, well, you can just go to the next, go to the next cylinder, just pull the trigger, and just keep right on going. So from a reliability standpoint, if you're going to carry 22, this is one of the safest ways to do it, I think. Um, it's double action only. You know, there's no external hammer to snag. It's extremely lightweight. It's very easy to use, and it's got a great trigger. So there's very few question marks for safety with the gun, and it's a very reliable way, once again, to carry 22. And like I say, with the weight, it's extremely comfortable. So 22 is an option for carry if that's what you want there are many that will argue that 22 is not a very effective defensive round and we can have the whole caliber discussion at some point in the future here but as i've said many times before you know some people may ask what the best concealed carry weapon that you can have and and the first answer is the one you have on you many people have got a lot of specifications, a lot of things on their wish list for a concealed carry gun, but they don't actually carry the gun, either because it's too big or too awkward or whatever the situation may be. Everything they want may necessarily translate into a gun that they can really carry. So I'd rather have eight rounds of 22 on me than nothing at all. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up. We do appreciate you joining us once again. And like I say, if you had not a chance to subscribe, you know, take a second to uh, find that subscribe button and give that a poke for us. Um, if you're on a mobile device, just scroll down below the video and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. It'll let you know when we do something new. And it does help us out a lot, and we can't thank you enough. Well, 
that's going to do it for today. We're going to be back very soon with another video for you. So in the meantime, everyone be safe. Um, thanks again and have a good day.